line. No, I'm in the line. Oh, <laughs> it's close. It's close. <laughs> Stay in the line. <laughs> I think the banner captures the spirit of Allen Fieldhouse in that it was started by students organically, and it's done freehand. It's everything that Allen Fieldhouse is. You can't explain it. You have to feel it. So I entered the architecture school in 1983. I met Todd same year. We had several classes together, and we were excited about one common thing, which was the Kansas Jayhawks. I mean, hooked instantly. It was amazing. I don't know how big this is. I'm hoping right now. It just all perfectly fell into place. And 1983, Larry Brown was the new coach. So we were at the front end of what is a tremendous run of KU basketball. And then when they signed Manning, we knew, we knew that we had the potential of, of having an incredible, incredible team. When I stepped in Allen Fieldhouse first time, it was an experience. It's a cathedral. It smells like basketball. It feels like basketball. I spent a good portion of my college years sitting on the concrete waiting to get into Allen Fieldhouse. Camping out was invented on our watch. You know, people were coming over, well, what are you doing? It's like, we're waiting for the game. We didn't have iPads in those days and cell phones. We would sit there and we'd actually talk. And we all became really good friends. 1988, when we found out Danny Manning was coming back, we had national championship penciled in. Everybody's just so excited that we got one more shot at this thing. We knew this was it for us. This was year five. None of us were going to graduate school. It's got to work out, right? And then, you know, we started having some tough times and losing some games. And, you know, I don't, I don't know if this is going to happen. The season slowly began to unravel. Really, what, what the hell's going on here? I'm sitting in class one day. I had been thinking for quite some time about Allen Fieldhouse needed to have some kind of external identity. New Mexico's got the pit. Clemson has Death Valley. I just thought Allen Fieldhouse should have some kind of identity like that. 100 years ago, between midnight and one, something unknown came out of the fog. Now it has returned. And, you know, I remember John Carpenter's movie called The Fog. There was this ethereal fog that would come through, and it just kind of stuck in my head. People talked about Fog Allen reverently. I mean, he's basically the father of basketball coaching. So just change it to P-H-O-G, kind of a neat play on words, and sketched it out in my notebook. The pay heat all who, who enter, I just, I mean, just kind of came up with that. And Michael was sitting next to me. When he showed it to me, I got it. You know, it gives me goosebumps. It was ominous. It was biblical, almost. It was pompous. You know, like, you're coming into our house, you know, you better watch out. So we started talking about it after class. I think we should make this into a banner. OK, let's do it. So Duke game was coming up. And it is indeed a chance for us to turn it around, because we never really lost faith. I wanted it to be really big, and I wanted it to hang in the field house, you know, somewhere prominently. To pull off this project, we knew it was going to take a lot of manpower. So enlisted some friends early. To get the material for the banner, the guy that we had tasked, because he's a pretty good scrounger, is Kippen. I said, I've got an idea. I, I know what we need to use. Shower curtains. We had to walk through each individual floor, find out who wasn't taking a shower versus who wasn't. We managed to get 10 shower curtains out laid them out and said, is this what you guys are looking for? You know, what's better than shower curtains? Once we got the curtain material laid out and pinned together, Michael just started sketching out the letters. And my head had how big everything should be and started in the left-hand corner. Pay heed all who enter, beware of the fog. 
He started with these gothic letters from this Peyhid, All Who Enter, and then he started doing the Beware of the Fog, and he did it in a totally different font. I was like, oh, dude, that's perfect. As I was putting this out, they were painting. We used all the shower curtains we had. Yeah, 35 feet is large. It, it, it could have been bigger had we had more material. I thought if we get a bunch of rope, we could put the rope through the top of this banner, throw it over the catwalks, and string it up. We thought we could pull off hanging this monstrosity of a banner because we had a good in with Floyd Temple, the assistant athletic director, who was basically our godfather. He looked at it and he loved it because he was a big fan of Dr. Allen. So he's like, uh, okay, you know, let, let's give it a shot. We get in and we go up to hang the banner. We needed to get the rope over the catwalks. Who, who's got something heavy that we can attach to the end of this rope? So I take my shoe off, tie the rope to the shoe, practice a couple times, short, short. Finally, we throw it hard. The shoe lands on the catwalk. <laughs> so we kind of look at each other and kind of go, uh-oh. So I take my other one off, and I said, this time we're not going to miss. Which was successful. And as the banner's going up, we're like, yeah, this is going to be great. It was so special to have it up there. And we knew we were going to win. We knew we were going to win that game. It was electric. There were so many people looking back behind them, pointing at that, because they had never seen anything like that before. Nothing like that had ever been allowed before in Allen Fieldhouse. We were up early. I'm a very superstitious fan. I didn't want the banner to be a jinx. We should have won that game. We didn't win that game. It just felt so disappointing. You know, we did this thing. It turned out so great. It looks great up there. All right, let's take it down. And then I took it home. You know, as we keep going through the season, Danny's last game is coming up. And we started talking. It's like, let's, why don't we try to hang it again? And this time, we had a different outcome. Everybody was psyched about it. The players loved it. They thought it was incredible. It was coming together. These guys were starting to roll. We went on this just crazy, magical run. We just kept winning. Beat K-State to go to the Final Four. And get a rematch with Duke. Beat Duke, get to the finals, and we beat Oklahoma for the national championship. To win the national championship. Our senior year, Danny's last year, we had this banner put up. What a perfect way to end a college career. Can't get any better than that. Pay heed, all who enter, be aware of the fog. <laughs> I just loved it, but I didn't know who did it <laughs> until I was called by the young men. They were leaving, graduating, and they would like for me to have it. <laughs> I was just taken back. And I said, I can't use it. It would wrap around my house. I decided to call Floyd Temple, a dear friend, and I said, Floyd, is there any way we could put that banner back up and have it stay there forever? And Floyd said, oh my gosh, of course it should be there. I'll do everything I can. They want to hang the banner up permanently. And I was like, OK. <laughs> I was like, that sounds awesome. Students marching that thing into Allen Fieldhouse and pulling that off. What do you call that? Chutzpah? Stones? Onions? Balls? Uh, awesome. Just awesome. You know, 
it almost sounds English, something that would be said in the 1700s or some colonial times or whatnot, right here in maybe the most historical building there is in college basketball. What it has done is not only, you know, give the opposing team a little shudder maybe as they come through the doors, but it also puts my grandfather's name, Fogg, out there and makes people remember him. So many people call Allen Fieldhouse the Fogg. We started calling it that, and now everybody calls it that. We never could have imagined in my wildest dreams what, what it would have become. It's part of Kansas' legacy. You just sit there and look at it and go, wow, I can't believe we did that.